beautiful people, man. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Apparently, we got a new president. Congratulations, Mr. President. Um, noticed a few things. I never really voiced my opinion on a lot of it. But uh, when I was growing up, I was raised not to disrespect the president and just law enforcement in general. Um, I mean, back then, we were raised to respect people. And um, there's been a lot of disrespect. Even presidents or candidates have been dogging on each other and stuff people making up stuff and the public actually believing some of this stuff that they've said about the candidates rather than doing their own homework and reading between the lines and all this other stuff and it's kind of crazy another thing that when i was raised they uh you know you always hear a lot of children are our future i firmly believe that and I think a lot of the disconnect and problems lately in the, in, the, in, the, in a few decades is it's been because children haven't been our future. Children have been the current. And, you know, it, it's kind of crazy, but as we get older, we're supposed to mature. And it kind of seems like the norm lately to be acceptable that you don't mature. Um, kind of crazy and I and, and it, it seems now I heard uh you know I I listen to I watch a lot of the YouTube channels of all the analysts and you know people out there talking and asking questions about well what policy do you like about this candidate and stuff and it's crazy but some of them couldn't even couldn't answer um had no clue about a lot of different stuff they just went on what they heard about on the news and I don't know who watches the news anymore but uh America, red, white, and blue. You know, it's a good day to be alive. And, uh, whew. Yeah. Y'all be fantastic. I'm glad people didn't vote blue. I'm glad people didn't vote red. They voted red, white, and blue. America. Y'all be fantastic.